Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for quite some time now I was thinking, hey, perhaps it's time to tackle a real project, a piece of furniture. And um, I actually needed a piece of furniture because as you can see from these short clips here, I had all kinds of stuff lying on my tabletop, docking station, channel strip, audio interface, headphones, papers, pens, you name it. So I needed a rolling cabinet, here it is. And um, yeah, let me show you some of the features and design considerations first and then some um, yeah, pictures from the making second. Uh, first of all, my, as you just saw on the clips, my um, desk has a uh, beach veneer. So I went with beach for this cabinet too. It's a beach uh, board with continuous uh, strips, stripes. They are not finger jointed and glued together. That looks very nice. And by the way, it's, it's really fun to work with uh, solid wood as opposed to plywood. Um, since my desk has a chrome frame, I went with chrome for the casters and the handles too. I used undermount slides and this has two advantages and one drawback. The advantages are the operation is more smooth than side-mounted slides and I really like it that you can't see the, sli the, the slides when the um, drawer is open. Yeah, the drawback is obvious. It's more on the pricey side, but I used only two pairs, so that was okay from my point of view. Um, you can see I have chosen the, uh, the design of inset drawers, not overlay. I like that. That's nice. Also, the back side. Oh, I have to be careful not to throw this whole thing down. As you can see, um, since, nobody, uh, since nobody sees the back side normally, I went with affordable OSB and I replicated the, um, the jacks on the back side of the channel strip to the back wall of this cabinet. Uh, this way I can comfortably change microphones without having to reach deep into the cabinet from the back side. Oh, here's the power cord. Yeah, that's basically it. Now don't throw it down, don't throw it down, come on. Okay, this is what I'm using, the 3232 um, Hardworks Oil. A rapid, the fast curing one. Now this is the surface as it looks right now with the first coat. Where's this fly coming from? Yeah, it's it's kind of okay, I think. But I definitely needed to improve it. So, okay, also, I will try to polish it and to uh, repair the damage that I have already done by applying way too much hardwax oil to in the first coat. I used this white pad. The more smooth side is the one that goes to the Velcro, like this. Hopefully that's correct. Give it a try. Yeah. Okay. Also, <clears throat> honestly, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything to the surface at all. Also, there's absolutely no improvement whatsoever. So we'll, now I will try to sand down this, this first coat of hard wax oil. Let's see if I can save uh, the surface. Okay, this time I'm gonna apply it with, with a pad. I don't need dust extraction for this, of course. I gotta plug the sander into the normal socket. Turn the speed down to the lowest. Okay, let's apply this stuff. Okay. 
Okay, feels good. Okay, that looks not too bad. Definitely an improvement. It's a more glossy surface now and it's not only more glossy, it's, it's a more smooth surface. Yeah, and here I'm assembling the already coated parts. I used biscuits for the build. Um, screws are only on the back side of the cabinet. Here you can see the rack mount uh, rails or strips I used. I think they are from Adam Hall. I purchased them at a German uh, online store for music equipment, Thoman.de. It's pretty affordable. And um, they have this rubber inlay that prevents the uh, hex nuts from uh, falling down inside the, the rail, the track. Okay guys, that's it. That's the result. I think it's a yeah, pretty decent rolling cabinet. That's how it looks under my desk. And yeah, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.